Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. Today's practice we have a chair yoga for singers practice. So this is great for anyone to do at any time of day, maybe before singing or as a reset throughout the day. So this practice would be good to do if you do have more limited mobility or you like a bit more support when you are stretching. We'll be focusing mainly on upper body stretches, getting a bit of flow and movement in the spine. There'll be some postures towards the end which include the lower body, but you can easily just take the bits that work for you and work within your range of motion. This would also be great to do if you fancy a bit of yoga, but you don't really have the space where you could do a full on standing yoga flow. Maybe if you're in the practice room, you could just come to this at the piano stool um, in between your practice sessions. So as I said, you could do this anywhere. All you need is a chair. Let's get started. So come to seated on your chair, stool, wherever you are. Feel like you are grounding through the sit bones, finding length through the spine, lifting through the crown of the head. Just bring the hands to the lap or by your sides, wherever feels comfortable. If you're happy, you can shut your eyes during this practice to get into the stretches, but it's really up to you. Just come to the breath first of all. And use your breath to keep the spine long. As this is a yoga for singers practice, I encourage you to add a bit of vocalizing to your exhale if it feels good for you. Uh, s can be nice or just some gentle humming. I'll guide you through any options, but feel free to add this whenever feels good. And just gently nod the head up and down. Come back to center, look over the right shoulder. And over the left. Come back to center, dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. You can stay here and then option to add on any of these additions. You can bring the right hand just above the right ear for supports. Option to extend the left arm out to the side. If you are a pianist, maybe your singing teacher, um, extending the left arm is a great stretch for the median nerve as well here, which will help free the wrists. Drop the chin now to the right collarbone. So you've just got a gentle tuck of the chin over to the right. Breathe into the stretch. And bring it back to center. Release the arms, other side. Left ear to left shoulder. Stay here or bring the left arm just above the right ear. Option to extend the right arm out. Drop the chin down to the left. Bring it back to center, release the arms, gently roll the shoulders. We'll come to stretch this huge muscle on the front of the neck, the platysma. So if you bring your fingertips to the chest and start to draw down like you're pulling the skin down, then start to lift the chin. I would keep the jaw soft here at first. You can start to move the head from side to side, pausing at any bits that feel good. 
options with this one to add a tongue stretch or bring the lower lip over the upper lip. And release. That one always feels great. <laughs> Let's come to some seated cat cows. So bring your arms to 90 degrees at the side, spreading the palms for a bit of energy. And again, you can make these really small movements or bigger, depending on how you're feeling. On your inhale, looking up, opening the chest, drawing the shoulders back slightly. Exhale, rounding the upper back. Hands just naturally fall in here. Inhale, opening, arms out to the side. Exhale, rounding, elbows come together. Follow your breath pattern here. This will be a lovely place to add some sound to the exhale, to control the breath flow and the movement. And come back to center, your seated alignment. Roll the shoulders once more. Flowing with the breath into a twist now. Inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, twisting to the right. Right arm drops behind, left hand to the right knee. Inhale, both arms come up, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left, dropping the left arm, right hand to the left knee. And just flow in and out of these twists. This would be a great place to add maybe a s or a z as if you're wringing out the spine. This stretch um, stretches the intercostals and the diaphragm, so it's nice to add that little bit of voiceless or voice sound as you go. Final two. And on your last one, inhale the arms up and exhale, release them down. Again, a little roll of the shoulders here. Then coming to our warrior two in the chair. Again, take the bit that feels good for you from this. So if we're adding the leg movement, our right thigh is going to come across the front of the chair. So our right knee will face out to the right. So you could just come here and open the arms to the side, or you can extend that back leg with the foot flat um, parallel to the chair. Extend the arms, feel length through the torso. Breathe here, option to add a bit of sound if it feels good. Then we'll sweep to reverse warrior, dropping the left arm, 
lifting the right arm up for a nice side stretch. Side angle, drop the right elbow to the right thigh, extend the left arm up and overhead. Then you can start to flow with the arms through these postures, creating this side stretches, space down the side body. You could vocalize whilst you do this. Again, just getting into the areas that feel like they need to make space, find some freedom. Coming back to warrior two and release. If we're using the legs, we'll swap sides and it's easier to just come back to center and then swap the other way. So left knee facing the left and our left thigh spans the front of the chair. You can extend the right leg, right foot parallel in. Extend the arms, warrior two, find strength and length. Reverse warrior, dropping the right hand, lifting the left arm up and over. Side angle, left elbow to left thigh, extend the right arm overhead. And you can start to flow between these postures adding some vocalizing if it feels good. And coming back to our warrior two arms and release, bring the legs back into center to seated if they were extended. Again, grounding through the sit bones once more, length through the spine um, and lifted through the crown of the head. One final stretch. Um, you can add in the legs, or if you're just using the upper body, you can just come into a forward fold here. The alternative is to add a figure four stretch. So bringing the right ankle on top of the left thigh, either keeping the spine long or starting to fold forward here. Wherever you are, breathe. We're adding in the legs, just lift the torso to swap sides, releasing the right foot back down, left ankle to the top of the right thigh. 
staying lengthened and lifted or folding forward. Wherever you are, lifting the torso, coming back to your seated alignment. Just take a few moments to come back to the breath, shutting the eyes if you're comfortable doing so. Just see how you feel compared to when you started this practice. Bring the hands to prayer at the heart. Thank yourself for taking the time to do this practice and breathe the eyes open. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know how you found it in the comments. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe for plenty more practices. Thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.